an A with an A. And welcome back to Fatty McFatville Friday. Yeah, 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 yeah. The bigger the figure, the better I like it. The better I like it, the better I feed it. The better I feed it, the bigger the figure, the better the figure, the more I can love The bigger the figure, the better I like it. The better I like it, the better I feed it. The better I feed it, the bigger the figure, the better the figure, the more I can love. The bigger the figure, the better I like it. The better I like it, the better I feed it. The better I feed it, the bigger the figure, the better the figure, the more I can love. The bigger the figure, the better I like it. The better I like it, the better I feed it. The better I feed it, the bigger the figure, the better the figure, the more I can love. The bigger the figure, the better I like it. The better I like it, the better I. One, what's up? What's going on on this Friday? Here we are again, and I feel like I am always in this car now. <laughs> Every time I'm sitting here in the car. It's the story of my life here lately and it's not going to end anytime soon. So I'm learning to embrace it and utilize my time sitting in the car. At least it's quiet and it's peaceful and it's like moments to myself. So I'm really not complaining about it. I'm really starting to enjoy my time sitting here because I'm actually sitting and doing nothing for a moment. <laughs> so I'm kind of liking this moments that I'm having um, when she's got cheerleading and stuff like that going on. So I'm not complaining about it right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm blessed to have this peaceful time with you guys. Okay, so here we go. It is the end of the month. September is tomorrow. How did that happen? You see, guys, you see how? Y'all know. Everybody says it all the time. I can't believe another year has passed. I can't believe another month has come. Yes, we always say it. Time flies. Time flies. Yes, it does. So, there's no better time than now to start your journey. Whatever it is. And I say it all the time. I sound like broken records. But we need to hear it because... I have been there. I've wasted so much time in the past. And here I am going into the ninth month of my weight loss journey. And it has flew by. It has flew by. And pounds have come off. Lots of them. Yes. So no time like the present to start that and get that journey going because the time will go by. I know it looks like it's such a long journey and I still have a long way to go. I do, but I'm closer and closer yet to the finish line more than I ever have been in my journeys before because I have never, never stayed on a diet this long in my whole life. The girls are running, I think. I don't know if you can see them back there. They're making them run laps. <clears throat> I can hear them. They're, they're having to cheer and shout at the same time. So, yes, start now. Don't delay, no matter how long it takes. Okay, so I promised, so I haven't weighed in this whole month because I wasn't going to dwell on the scales. And I haven't. And I haven't really been concerned about it because... I have done my best this month that I could even be in busy, had a few little hangups here and there, but not really, not anything major. Thank goodness. Um, I did overindulge a little bit Sunday. If you saw my singing Sunday, I had a bunch of guests over, friends and family, and you know, we always cook. I uh, made sure I did have sugar-free, low-carb type stuff that I eat. And even my sister-in-law is really good about that because she does the same thing. And um, my nephew, he has to be sugar-free. So we always have the low-carb, sugar-free type stuff going. So, but I still, even though it says sugar-free or low-carb, there's still carbs. There's still, just because it says sugar-free or lower in the garbage. <laughs> that adds up 
And I still, in my mind, think, oh, I can just eat as much of this as I want, especially in events like that. And I still, I did overindulge just a little bit on Sunday. But hey, <sighs> it's, um, it's, it's one step at a time, one step at a time. And it's gotten so much better. When I look back over my whole journey of <clears throat> now going into the ninth month, what I have achieved in my life, in this mind here, and this body is starting to amaze me. So, first off, before we get into any of that, let me do the weigh-in first. First! Which, of course, I'm in the car. Of course, I've already did that before I got here. So, yes, I know what it says. Um, so let me show you that. So it's way in time, way in time. It's time to see what I weigh after this month. It's not May, it's August. Oh, see what I did. Here we go. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? My goal was, and that was only a pound goal <laughs> for the whole month. I knew I'd do more than that. Um, was to get to the 60 pound mark gone, which would have been 286. Well, baby, I am 283.6. So I have officially lost 63 pounds. Oh, feels really really good. I feel like I just said not that long ago, I was fighting for the 50 pound mark. Remember? I was fighting to get under 300 pounds and I felt like I was in the 290s there for a long time. I felt like it was a long haul, but that's already over. It's already over and it's done and I'm now about to say goodbye to the 80s. Oh, yes. Oh, 270s. Here I come. Here I come. Not that far out of reach, I will get there. So yes, I am very happy with that. I am so happy with that. Um, 63 pounds gone, heading into my ninth month. Now yes, I must admit, and I have to say, when I first started the journey in January, you know, you kinda, we all do this. I know y'all have done it too. If you've been on the same journey as me or on it right now, you kind of calculate in your mind um, how many pounds will, and I thought because there was a, um, there might have been a family reunion, which it did not happen, but we still went to Virginia to see John's mom and saw family, and that was in June. So by, when I started January, I thought, okay, by June, I should lose 70 pounds by June. Don't do that to yourself because you're setting yourself up for these. It's good to have the goals of I want to lose this by this time, but it doesn't always work out that way. It just doesn't because sometimes I feel like I'm doing the same things or I cut back more or I feel like I'm doing really, really good on my diet. And then those weeks are the weeks I've gotten on the scales and I've lost a few ounces or just a pound. And then sometimes, like I, when I went to Hippie Fest, that's an example. When I was trying to reach, to lose that 50 pound mark, I lost five pounds that week. It's like, I how? <laughs> so you just don't ever know because your body weight, it fluctuates. Your body gets adjusted, acclimated to what you're doing, what you're putting in it. So it's constantly this, this, this. That's why this month I just did not want to step on the scale every week. I don't know if I'll continue to do that for uh, this month. I will probably weigh in again Friday, uh, next Friday, because it's just, I don't know if I can wait again. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. If I start getting obsessed again, then I'm going to lay off the scales. Yes, because... Um, it's about those non-scale victories. It's about small changes that you make. And when I look back 
from January to now, I have made tremendous strides in that. And some of that stuff I know I talk about on here, but y'all don't really see because y'all are not with me every hour of the day. When I'm making these decisions on what to eat and stuff like that and when to exercise and all this, y'all aren't there in those moments. So you really don't see you know, exactly what I'm talking about. I'm changed so many habits, bad habits um, that I had and um, corrected them and changed them. They're not completely, clearly perfect. Not at all. I'm not like perfectly eating and perfectly making choices every time. No, of course not. Because I'm still human and I still have the food addiction down deep in there that I fight every single day. But what I'm very proud of for myself, and it's okay to be proud of yourself too. It's time for us to start being proud of our own selves. To pat ourselves on the back and say, you're doing a good job. And it's okay to do that. Sometimes people make us feel bad for congratulating our own self. They just don't know how. Sometimes it's those people. They just don't know how hard this type of journey really is to lose the weight and to keep it off. And I'm one thing I'm really proud of myself that I thought by now, heading into the ninth month, I thought I'd have a lot more times where the scale went up. I haven't had that. Thank the Lord. I'm so the glad Lord. that the pounds have went down every time. And I know other people, I'm not saying I'm better than anybody else because that hasn't happened. And not saying that it might not happen. I hope it does not happen. I'm working so hard every day, every month, every week, so that does not happen. I want to continuously move forward and um, get the weight off. That's what our goals are to do. So I'm so blessed, I must say, that the skill has always went down, down. Okay, so... Um, 283.6 and I started at uh, 300 I almost don't even want to say it I'm like <laughs> I'm like 346.6 pounds so exactly 63 pounds gone so that is just a little bit under four pounds away from hitting the 270s which will be the smallest I have been in a while. Really right where, where I'm at right now um, is the smallest, the least I've weighed in many years. Uh, maybe, oh gosh, the last time I lost, <clears throat> um, I lost 65 pounds the last time I did this. And it was, how many years ago? Oh goodness, 2013 five years ago yeah 2013 2014 hmm. and I was only on the diet for three or four months so you see the difference um half of the times then I starved myself I drank just liquids mostly um running going um which I am now running going but for the good reasons for the right reasons <clears throat> I wasn't just treating my body the way I should have and I it wasn't I was just numb up here from everything that was happening in my life I was just numb back then I wasn't correcting the issues of this addiction to food so that's the difference this time and that's why it's taken longer because it's I'm correcting those things um, if you know what I mean those of you who are going through it you know exactly what I'm talking about so take your time and correct the issues, the battlefield in the mind. I've worked more on me. I've worked more on my mind, my mindset for the first time ever. So I've lost 60, 60 pounds. <laughs> I've lost 65 pounds before. Um, I did start at a heavier weight. I think the heaviest I've been is 260, 268. Yeah. So, um... That was the heaviest I'd ever been. And I'd gotten down to, two back then in 2013, I got down to 296. So that was the lowest I'd been five years ago. I didn't even reach the 280s then at all. Then, oh, 10 years ago, 12 years ago, 
I was really doing the Richard Simmons kick then. Every day I was working out. Low carb then too as well. Atkins type low carb diet again. And I started at 285 then, 10 years ago. Wasn't even at the 300 mark then. And I lost down to 220. So I have not been up to the 220s, past 200 down into what do they call it? Wonderland? Is that what they call it? Into the 100s? Because I wonder what it feels like to be there. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. Y'all go see. Um, so it's been forever, and I was at 220 then, and in high school, which was 18 years ago I graduated, I graduated the year 2000, yes I did, it was a 2000 baby, and um, I weighed, pretty much stayed at the 200 mark, I might have been 190 here and there, but I pretty much stayed, every time they weighed me, it was like 200 on the dot, and I was like a size 16, 18. Still plus size, <laughs> you know. Um, so it's been forever. Okay. Also, which I need, I'm going to take some pictures. I'm going to take pictures. And um, I've got in a pair of jeans. I'm wearing them right now. They're size 22s. And I zip those bad boys up and I have room in them. And I was like, yes. I've had those, excuse me, I've had those a while. And the last time I tried, which was at the beginning of the summer, I believe, um, I could button them, but they were so tight. It was muffin top, busting out the seams. Oh, no. I cannot do jeans when they're they're uncomfortable like that. So it's a good feeling knowing that fall's about to begin. That's when you bust out all your jeans and things that I'll get to wear some jeans finally. I'm telling you, when you're 300 plus pounds, jeans do not. They make them that big. I've had, you know, size... 24s, 26, 28s, they even make them 30, 32s or whatever. And they probably make them bigger than that, but they're not comfortable and they don't look right. You look just, blah, blah, blah. yeah, that's how I feel anyhow. <laughs> just don't, I just don't, I didn't wear them. I, I ain't giving up my leggings though still. I love my leggings. I wear those all the time because they're comfortable to clean in and just, I love them. But it is good feeling to know I can wear jeans now. I can. Because I was wearing like a um, 26, 28 was tight. So I was in like a 30, 32. And even then it was still a little cutting into my gut. You know what I mean? These are a 22. Oh, it feels so good. It feels great. It feels great. So 283.6. That is pretty much 83 pounds. Well, 84 pounds I need to lose to be... 190 something it's like wow wowzers what a way to almost be getting there i mean that's not that's so doable clearly clearly and um only 37 more pounds to lose to lose 100 pounds i've never done that never lost 100 pounds never it's a really really big goal for me to um, lose the 100 pounds. And then from there, <clears throat> get into the 100s. Oh, man. Oh, man. I would love to. This is just a little goal to set. And I've said it before. I wanted this year to lose 100 pounds. I, it's doable to lose another 37 before uh, by January because that's when I started. That would be a year. Um but if it does not happen, um, I'm not going to be upset because clearly by then I'll be very close to losing 100 pounds. So that's what you have to say to yourself and you have to do. When you set these goals, <clears throat> you, it's good to look for the future and say, how about how long is this going to take me? So if it does not happen by then, I don't want to beat myself up and be disappointed you know, I don't want to break a promise to myself like I've done in the past so many times. But I would love to lose. That's what I'm going to work towards. And I know, here we go, we're, we're we're slipping into holiday season before we know it. In just one more month, I mean, holiday stuff's already out. <sighs> They're pushing it in our face constant, which I love it. I love it. But I've just been starting to think of all the treats and all the baking and all the, the get-togethers and the gatherings. It's really going to be a test of my faith, a test of what I have 
fought for all year to, you know, change my mindset on the food. And I know I can do it. And you can do it too. We'll do this together as we go through these holidays coming up. Um, because there's other alternatives. There's other options. Whatever diet we're on, I know a lot of us are on the keto, which I'm pretty much keto slash low carb, which that's what it is anyhow. Um, there's so many recipes out there. Great stuff. Good stuff that um, is the same as those treats, you know, they hand out that you get or when you go to a gathering. You know, you can make that stuff so you can have it too. It's just planning and preparing ahead. That's all it is. So I have to say I am um, very excited for the future, very excited for these next months um, till January to get down uh, to 246, right? Yeah, to lose 100 pounds. And that is my goal, and I want to reach that. And then on from there to get under the 200s. Telling you, I'm doing my backflip. It's got to happen. I need to learn now. We let these little cheerleaders teach me because they they can do backflips, <laughs> and I can't even I can't even roll over in bed well. <laughs> getting there, getting there. Shoot. <clears throat> okay. Well, I've chatted enough, I believe, but um, I am. Uh, happy with my results. I am very happy with that and happy to have lost uh, over the 60 pound mark. I'm telling you, it just clicks off so quick. I feel like I was fighting to get out of those 300s and the past the 290s and then here it is. So don't delay. Don't delay. If you haven't started yet, start now, right now. And uh, before you know it, there'll be pounds gone, gone, gone and You'll be right here like where I'm at. Head into your ninth month, lost 63 pounds and on. <sighs> it's a fight. It's hard. Yes, I'm not saying it's easy. It has not been easy. But some parts has been easy. And it's so rewarding. I mean, the times where I have messed up and ate wrong things, um, those times were horrible feelings. And the times where these victories have happened feel so much better than eating a donut. Feel so much better than eating the hamburger, you know, or the fries or whatever your go-to uh, delicious, scrumptious food is. And then I found that when I eat it, it doesn't even satisfy really. I'm just feeling a void or something else in my life. Like I said, food is what? Fuel, not therapy. Learning that, learning that, learning that. And the more I do it, it just doesn't even taste good anymore. It really doesn't. Now I'll say, sure, that does taste good. That milkshake tastes good. But it, the victory of conquering this weight issue feels so much more better. When I make better choices, it feels better than doing the cheating, doing the cheating, eating the food. This victories of this feel so much better. So join me on that. Join me on that. Let's see if I have some small little goals this month too. Let's talk about that real quick. Um, I have done really well on my water. How have y'all done on that? Um, I do want to get a gallon jug because I just need to keep more track. Um, if I'm really getting in a gallon, I think I am. So more about measuring my food this month is what I'm going to focus on. I do want to really keep a food journal. I did say that, I think, at the beginning of the month, but I, I did not do that. Um, I want to see how many carbs I really am eating in a day because, you know, everything has car carbs and it adds up. So I want to track more of that and really write down and then be able to show you guys, too, what I've ate. And it just holds me more accountable. And um, that's my goals for this month. Because I'm on the exercise bandwagon. Finally, after months and months, keep up that. Walk in my miles. I do want to up them. I've went back to like two miles here and there. But it's better than nothing because I've been so busy. Um, but I do exercise at least three times a week or more. Or more. Um, so I'm keeping up that 
with my water and I want to track my food. So that's what I'm going to do this month. So join me with that if you will. All right, everybody. I love you guys so much and I will see you Sunday. Sunday. I'm trying to think if I had anything Saturday going on. Maybe I'll get to rest for once. <laughs> no laboring on Labor Day weekend, right? <laughs> All right, everybody. Be blessed. I love you guys, and I will see you Sunday. Bye-bye.